Hey, welcome to Phil Atkinson Fishing YouTube. I hope you enjoy my uh, latest tuna video off the rocks. Blind casting for tuna on the north coast of New South Wales. So, I've got myself a little corner here that's just stacked full of bait. There's bait there. You can see that brown sort of haze, that's bait fish. It comes around in here, so I'm gonna set up on the rocks over here. And got a couple of surface jigs on. Um, got my two old salties here. So we'll set up down here and just see if anything, um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a surfer over there and there's actually a long tail busting up around him. You can see the birds and then the long tail is just pushing into the back of the beach. Literally, if I was standing on the beach over there, I'd actually have cast. Yeah, one just came straight out of the water in the surf. Like in the waves. All through there. So something has to turn up at some point today. So I'm going to fish this tide change. Running down to a low tide in about an hour. So I'm going to fish through this midday tide change. So I'm just sort of sitting here. Got my rods ready with surface jigs on. And over here in the corner of the beach. Sort of there. There is heaps of bait. Sort of birds on it. See the shadows in the water, the birds are diving, at least two lads are having a cast. So I'm hoping something will move along the beach then through this way. I'll see it with Gari sprays. Got my gaff down at the low bit where I hope to land a fish if I hook one, and I got my rods up here nice and high. I've got to sit a bit high so I can sort of scan both directions. had something try and hit me last cast and it was not a tail up. Okay, I just had a big set go through. I know the big fish is just the um, garfish inshore get disorientated by the white water. So, I think I just had a mackerel jump all over my surface jig. I missed the hook up, didn't have the camera on, so I'm going back. hooked up, not sure what it is, I think it's a bari, oh, I'm getting, oh, I'm on a big uh, surface jig, I'm going to try and work my way around to my gaff, okay, just been blind casting, uh, it's going to work around here, it's going to be interesting, oh he's turned back on me, oh, oh he's smoking, yeah, I think it's a bari. <sighs> okay, gaff's over here, so I gotta work my way. The annoying bit is there were three guys here bidding for Taylor. They left five minutes ago. So I gotta get around here. Alright, forget the fish, focus on my feet. Alright, oh here we go. Alright, I'm now. Reunited with my gas. So, all right, what do we got on? I'm gonna get wet down here, but that's all right. I've had one big run. Just gotta get my gas. All right, apologies if this GoPro gets wet. That was mad. <laughs> I thought I, I saw um, something shadow my jig before. I wasn't sure. But I'm gonna get wet here. That's all right. I'm not gonna get washed in. Very cool. 
school again. I think it's a long. It's turned on the preschool. Get you at least. Oh, it's a long time. It is a long time. Round. Where are you? Okay, there it is. See down there, got a longy. Oh, got him. Oh, I've gaffed him. He's a good fish. Woo. That was intense. All right. Woo, I'm shaking. So, that was on the spin. Blind. Yeah, so, there it is. I've had, you know, I've had a great time trying to get this uh, this longy on a lure off the rock, so I finally got him blind casting on a surface jig. And uh, yeah, I've had a bit of bad luck, lost one, uh, had a couple of missed hookups, and uh, finally, <laughs> uh, perseverance has paid off, so have a go at that. I'm so stoked. I'm so glad I upgraded to 80 pound leader. I don't think I would have got this fish in with my normal 60 by myself. It was just too hard. He's a solid fish, I reckon he's about, 15 kilos, so <laughs> I'm stoked he'll be swallowed it. That's a big uh, Samson Slim Minnow. Thank you, Goshi, that was one of the ones you gave me. Cheers, mate. <laughs> All right, I'm shaking, but uh, yeah, this is just an adrenaline rush. That is a well hooked fish. He fully, fully engulfed that, that jig, um, which probably worked for me. But this leader, like, <laughs> It is scuffed from the rocks. Um, if I hadn't gone to 80, I just don't think I would have got this fish. So I actually pulled him off a single um, a single gull or turn. That it, there's a bunch of turns and the one turn just started tracking low and just kept going. So I just thought, no, I'll cast at that. Tried to figure out where it was heading and bang, nailed it. So literally he was on the tide change. Swallowed it, just engulfed that lure. There we go. Size of that, just completely engulfs it like that. All right, he can stay in there for dinner. The boys are hooked up. There's no way if I didn't have this 80 on and I had a lot of it that I would have landed that fish. And uh, if you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using an FG knot here in my 80. There's my FG hung in there with a little bimini double. So pretty stoked I made that effort to re-rig. This thing has this is its second long tail. Third third long tail hook up. It's the second long tail that's been landed on it. This is jig and got one nice den out of it there. But otherwise, good to go again. Alright, just doing a bimini.
could be a blue. Oh, he's hooked up around the corner and it's gone into the beach. It's gone, to the, it's gone into the beach on him. Swell's picking up. I'm about to get wet. Yep. Is that bait right there? Yeah, I'm hooked up again. <laughs> Off the top. Off the top. Alright, here we go again. Just got to get here in one piece. Gonna get wet for sure. Get around to the fighting position. All right. So this is my second long tail hookup for today. Just out a long way. Second hook up from a blind cast. He's getting, he's getting destroyed by a shark. Noah's on him. Hey. See the shark's on him. Noah's on him. The shark's on him. See the size of the shark. He's getting shark. He's getting shark. Shark! No! Absolutely destroyed there, mate. There he is, look! That's my favourite lure. I just got sharked on that long tail. Um, my mate Jared down here, he's just put a, a jig on and just missed the hook up. So I've landed one and that one I was on the way to getting landed, had an awesome opening run and then I had to free spool it. And then on the free spool it turned and then a the huge whale I got on them. I could see the commotion and uh, sure enough, there's the end of the leader all chewed up. So disappointed, that was my lucky, uh, my lucky lure. So, Jared's got my other one. I think I've got one more here, so just keep going. But um, yeah, awesome day. Wind's gone southerly. So. <laughs> How good's this? All casting, no low baiting. Just all on the cast. Whoa. And we're in New South Wales. <laughs> all right, so I've got a natural sort of fridge here for my, my tuna. So I've got to get out of here now. We're gonna keep casting this season. I don't think I am gonna live bait. 
So I'm going to just stay on the cast. I've enjoyed it so much. Anyway, thanks for joining me on Phil Atkinson Fishing YouTube. Um, I set myself this goal and uh, finally I've, uh, I've reached it. So uh, yeah, see you on the rocks. Ciao. So there was heaps of white bait down deep and um, nothing on the top, but the long tail were there and the sharks were there herding the white bait. I'd say get this guy home and I'll clean him up and have tuna steaks for the next couple of days. Here we go. Rods. That is a wrap. Job done. So, here is my meal tonight. That is long tail tuna spun from the rocks on top water lures today. Kewpie, sweet chilli sauce, and salad. Big long tail over there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm in. All right, into a longie. Here we go. It's big fish. 